the system, as they call it, you know, the machine is, has such inertia and is so vast and, and so powerful that, that there's no practical plan to stop the machine. There's no practical plan. In fact, I would say that there's no plan at all. Yet, something in us knows that it is possible. And that is a precious knowledge. Otherwise, if, if we didn't have something in us that, that, that knew that it was possible, why would we keep being hopeful? Mm. Anytime there's like a little break in the clouds, hope springs up. It was there all along. We know that it's possible, but we don't know how to get there. And I think that the path to get there has to start at a foundation of a different way of seeing the world, a different understanding of what the human being is. All of these questions I named as spiritual, because when the new answers come in and the experiences come in that validate those answers, then you know you're not crazy. Hmm. And it, it orients a person toward whatever action, large or small, is in service to that, I call it the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. Our minds might not know it's possible, but our hearts know it doesn't have to be this way. And you can make any argument why, you know, human nature or the power elite, you know, or, or, or patriarchy, capitalism, white supremacy, et cetera, et cetera. Like it's so powerful. We can't over. And I cannot refute your argument. All I can do is speak to the part of you that knows it doesn't have to be this way. Mm. And that, that urgently calls each one of us to act from that understanding.